Hey guys, it's your girl. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Look at me doing three videos in a row. How YouTube of me. Anyway, so today I wanted to do a video that was a little different, but I mean, I think I say this in every video, like I want to do something different, but so I was thinking about what a video I could do and I thought, because I'm so excited about this, I'm going to do a Camp America video, but a lot of people say Camp America do's, I'm going to do my video on Camp America don'ts because obviously I went to Camp America in 2019 and there's just some things that I wish I knew and some things that I wish, you know, that I could have done differently if I went again and I am hoping to go again. So, in that case, let's get on with the video. Okay, so I actually wrote it down on my notes here, just in case I forget. <laughs> oh, this is the first thing I'm going to tell you guys, and it is the most important thing I could probably recommend to you, because I did not do this, and it got me in so much trouble, I can't deal. So... The first thing I'm going to recommend to you is basically when you sign up for Camp America and when you go through your camp application, you're basically going to get loads of forms and loads of things that you're going to need to print out and take with you to the airport in order to get into America. So this includes your DS-19 form, your visa form, I think there's a couple of other forms like health forms that you need. Camp America will send you multiple emails saying that you need these forms. I'm telling you now. Do not ignore these emails because that is exactly what I did. I ignored these emails, got off the plane in America and I was in the line and all I could see in this long queue was everyone holding these massive folders and there was me standing with just my passport in my hand and I was talking to the guy in front of me and I was like, just out of curiosity, what are them forms that you've got in your folder? And he was like, oh, you know, your DS-19 forms and visa forms that you need to get in. And I was like, <laughs> I was thinking up, in my head, I was thinking of good excuses to say to this immigration officer who was literally standing in front of me, checking everyone's form. And it got to me, I walked past and I literally gave my visa and my passport to the immigration officer. And then he was like, where's your other forms? And I literally, I'm not even joking, when full pelt was literally like, I have no idea, like literally I'm so sorry. I made up this absolute worst excuse that I was on a geography trip previously, which I was to be fair. And basically I had given my forms in there and not here. So obviously I had to be taken to immigration and I sat there for ages, crying my eyes out. I wasn't even allowed on my phone. Like I couldn't speak to my family or anything. I was literally crying. And then I came out and everyone at camp, I had no idea where they were, so I cried again in JFK airport. So I'm gonna tell you now, whatever emails you get from camp, print them out. Like literally, when I go again, I am printing out about 20 copies of each one. So I do not have the same experience again. Like honestly, it was the worst experience. I was ready to get on a flight home. Like I was calling my parents like, book me on the next flight home because I am out of here. Like I am, bye Felicia, like I am not doing this anymore. So I literally strolled in with my puffy eyes and yeah, that was not a great first impression. So number one tip, don't forget your forms. <laughs> Second tip, don't, and I mean this, like honestly I thought it was just a joke, don't leave food in your cabin, in your tent, in your dormitory, wherever you're staying in camp, because obviously there's different camps, especially if you're staying in a rural countryside camp. They tell you there's wildlife, they tell you, you're obviously, you're in a rural area, there's gonna be wildlife, but they also warn you about raccoons. And in England, we don't have raccoons, so I was like literally amazed. I was like, oh my God, I get to see a raccoon. Basically, I got to camp, was really excited to see everyone, but I was a bit nervous, so I left my bags in my caben. Literally, just for reference, a caben is like a wooden, in the nicest terms, it's like a wooden shed that we stayed in. <laughs> That is the nicest way I can put it, but we stayed in like a countryside camp. So anyway, I like put my bag down, I had salt and vinegar crisps, I had Oreos, I had everything in my bag. And then I came back 
and literally my crisps, my Oreos, everything was spread across the floor. Like everything was gone. My crisp packets had been opened. My Oreos had been opened. Even my tampons had been opened. And I spoke to someone, they were like, did you not know about the raccoons? I was like, yeah, I knew about the raccoons, but I didn't think they would actually eat my food. I'm telling you now, whatever you have, they will eat it. Even if it's not food, they will eat it. And don't underestimate them, they will go through your bags. Like, they went through my bags and they took my tampons. I don't know why, but they took my tampon. They have no fear. They are like the foxes of England, of foxes of America. Don't bring snacks into the tents, anything where you're staying. Do not do it, okay? <laughs> Next one. Okay, this one's actually really funny and probably you guys aren't gonna do this, but I was quite stupid. So, basically, in the supermarkets there, like Target, Walmart, Golden Eagle. I think it's Giant Eagle, but I always call it Golden Eagle. Anyway, in these supermarkets, as you're checking out, they have like this little round circular thing that's like wax and it's basically bag seal. Do not mistake it for lip balm. Like, don't do it. Don't put the wax thing on your lips because, funny enough, it's not free lip balm. It's actually wax seal to seal the bags together. But in this case, I had really dry lips. I got to check out and I was like, oh my God, free lip seal. I was like, oh my God, this country's amazing. It gives you free lip seal. So I was like smothering it on all my lips and, uh, the cat person was like, what are you doing? I was like, oh, free lip balm, isn't it? <laughs> and then they were like, Sasha, that's not free lip balm, that is wax. This this thing oh, here, to separate the bags, <laughs> Sasha thought was lip balm. <laughs> I thought it was lip balm, it but tastes funny. <laughs> I'm just so confused. <laughs> We have and let me tell you, my lips did not recover for the whole time. So, just a warning, don't put anything strange on your lips. Hi, I'm Ken. Barbie, have we ever met? Uh -uh. Tip number four. Oh, God. Tip number four actually gives me the heebie-jeebies. Like, it genuinely makes me cringe. And I, ah! Okay, tip number four. This is a very controversial subject and hats off if you guys want to do it, but it's just not a bit of me. Like, I'm not doing it ever again. <sighs> Don't get into a relationship or go in a relationship to camp. <laughs> As you guys know, probably in some of my previous videos, I went to camp with a boyfriend. And that was the worst mistake I ever made because like a month in, he decided he didn't want to do it anymore and we broke up. So basically, I was dressy depressy and not well dressy at camp. So, this is a bit of a controversial subject. Hats off to any couple that survive camp and they can go the whole way without having arguments and they can like get home and they can be together as camp never happened. For some people, including me, who like an adventure, who like to, you know, just enjoy yourselves, let loose, let your hair free. Having a relationship really does prevent you from doing some things. And I'm not talking about like kissing boys, getting with camp boys, anything like that, because half the time, no offence, but you're not going to really want a camp boy either. I just feel like it restricts, like, you're constantly worried about your boyfriend, you're constantly thinking about them, you want to text them and all this. It's just not, that's just not camp vibe. Camp vibe is like, live wild, let loose, you know, have fun with your friends. Don't worry about, like, your boyfriends and people at home and stuff like that. Like, it's just one of them things and it sounds really harsh, but camp is to make memories, camp is to enjoy yourself. Also, I was not gonna go to camp because of my boyfriend and that would have been the worst mistake ever because guaranteed we would have broken up anyway. So if I hadn't done that, then that would have been the worst moment of my life that I would have regretted it so bad because camp is the best experience of your life and you're just gonna love it. Tip number four, hats off to you guys, but I would just say don't even get into relationships, don't even think about relationships, don't go to camp with a relationship, like, it, as harsh as it sounds, that's just from my experience. Obviously, everyone's experience is different, but from what I know from talking to camp people and being around camp people, they were in the same boat as me, and people that they had in a relationship, they're no longer in a relationship anymore, so... And that's the tea. <laughs> Tip number five. Oh, guys. This one's also a bit of a salty subject. First of all, if they tell you to bring a small suitcase, don't bring a small suitcase. I'm telling you this now. I'm actually telling you this now. Don't bring a small suitcase because I bring a tiny carry-on suitcase and a backpack. And let me tell you, that suitcase broke 
because it had too much stuff in it. I literally nearly did not have it back to England. Like it, it was not making it back to England. Like all my stuff was coming out. I got my suitcase in England on the rail things in Heathrow Airport and my strap had come off and my zip was open. Bring a big one so you can pack as much as you want. So you can buy stuff out there, you can bring it home. You still have enough room and also bring like another small carry-on suitcase as well. Like I feel like a big one and a small one or a big one and a backpack. I feel like that's quite ideal. Unless your camp has advised you to specifically bring a small suitcase, bring a large one because you're going to be wanting to make memories. You're obviously going to buy stuff. It's three months in America. You're going to buy clothes. You're going to buy souvenirs. You're going to buy like anything random. So bring a large suitcase, please. <laughs> Tip number six. Tip number six. I think we're on. Oh, God. Okay. This one is essential for everyone who's going to a hot place in America. I mean, I guarantee it's going to be hot anyway. Like, if you're going to LA, if you're going to New York, if you're going to Chicago, anywhere like that. If you're going to any of them, it's going to be hot. Like, it's summer. So, don't forget to put on sun cream. Especially if you are a lifeguard like me who is outside in the sun, sitting there with like a bikini or a swim costume all day, you are going to get burnt. And boy, did I get burnt in the first week. Like, fair enough, I also got tanned, but I got seriously burnt on my back and it was incredibly painful. And I know a lot of the other lifeguards, like, my friend had to put aloe vera in gloves and put them on her feet because of how badly her feet got burned. So, tip number six, don't forget to put on sun cream. Yeah, you can do it. Go, Sasha. Yeah. Tip number eight. This is a big one, especially for girls, because I feel like, you know, we want to look pretty and stuff. But tip number eight, don't worry about how you look. Don't worry about makeup. Don't worry about bringing straighteners, making your hair look cute and stuff like that. Because honestly, 99% of the time, my hair was ratty from the lakes, from the pool, from like this Mavima lake. Like it was ratty. It was like chlorinated. I had no makeup on. Like guarantee, especially if you're a lifeguard, you're getting in the water probably every hour, if like more than that. I went there looking pretty for like maybe the week, probably not even a week, like three days. And I was like, no, I'm not wearing makeup. I'm not making my hair look cute. Like the only time I think I actually put an effort in is for socials, ice cream socials parties. Or also we had like a summer ball thing at the end. So I actually did put a little bit of effort in, but I didn't even wear eyelashes. And that's my main thing. I didn't even wear eyelashes because there was just no point. So that's tip number eight. Don't care too much about your appearance. Are you sure we need everything in here, Mummy Pig? Yes. <laughs> It's all very important. Tip number nine. This is kind of going in with the suitcasing. I would say tip number nine, don't overpack. I went to camp thinking that I needed like a duvet, a pillow, sleeping bag, all of that. And then loads of clothes, shorts, dresses, anything, everything and anything, a hairdryer. Honestly, did not use half of it. First of all, if you're going to camp that doesn't provide bedding and stuff like that, you can sometimes get bedding from Walmart, which is so cheap. Like, it's literally $12 for some bedding. You know, like, there's going to be clothes that you're going to want to buy out there. Like, we did a lot of thrifting, a lot of thrifting. And I bought clothes all the time. Like, I was literally buying clothes. And then, obviously, I had my tiny pink suitcase. And it just wasn't fitting. So, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. I would say, definitely do not overpack. I might do a video on what to pack for camp because... Honestly, a lot of the things that I thought I needed, I literally did not need at all. Oh, I get it. Okay, tip number 10, I think this is. Mm, I'm going to say this is a really difficult one because a lot of people will feel like this, but don't not be yourself. This is the main thing about camp. They will accept you for whoever you are, whatever you are, how you want to be. If you want to be crazy, they'll accept you. If you want to be quiet, they'll accept you. If you want to be the loudest one, they'll accept you. If you want to be the most popular one, they'll accept you. But it's just one of them things. Like I went to camp and at first I was a little bit intimidated and of course you're going to be like, you're going to be overwhelmed. You know, the first couple of days you are quite quiet and you know, you're quite reserved. Literally within like the third day I was myself, I was being funny, I was like making jokes with people, I was being confident and that's how people remember you as well. Like people are going to remember you for your first impressions. Be yourself, honestly, they're going to accept you no matter what. One of the last ones I'm going to say, tip number 11, is this is a really big one. And, like, honestly, guys, I cannot stress this enough. But please 
don't judge people there because some of the people that you may judge are actually going to be your best friends like obviously everyone knows Robin who's been on my channel a couple of times me and her not that we judged each other but we kind of looked at each other when we first met and we wondered whether we were going to be friends or not and we were kind of like oh like she looks really popular oh like she's really cool and stuff like that but just don't judge them like get to know them first get to know their personality and then you can get a good impression of them and people that I may have judged at camp I'm now such good friends with them and I FaceTime them all the time so that's just another thing please don't judge them kind of intertwining with tip 11 I know it's very overwhelming and it's very difficult and like sometimes it can be very hard if you are feeling homesick just talk to people don't screw away don't hide away talk to people because they are going to be your support group they're going to be there for you they know how you're feeling as well especially internationals obviously Americans no offense but you don't guys don't really know how much we're feeling as much because you guys can go home on the weekends but for internationals everyone is in the same boat everyone knows how you're feeling so everyone could be there to support you I'm so excited to go back to camp and I'm pretty sure there's more don'ts about camp but I feel like that's enough tips for you guys to get through at the moment um, I will link my vlog in here because honestly you guys need to see it it's so good and it's just one of them things that I literally love looking back at the memories so yeah but anyway I hope these tips were helpful if you want to know any more tips just let me know and I can reply to them in the comments or anything so if you want to like and subscribe to me <laughs> and also follow my Instagram sashmarie98 that'd be very appreciative and let me know what else you guys want to see if there's any more camp questions you want to ask or you know just anything else so yeah I will let you guys go now so bye guys <laughs> hope you have a smashing day <laughs>